We are continuing with the Certified Review Developer Recertification Sample Questions and Answers videos. Please pause the video if necessary and scroll if necessary, then resume when you are ready. Let us start. Your application has a performance requirement to complete certain operations within a specified time period. After testing your implementation, you determine that one of the operations intermittently fails to meet its performance requirement. Using the profile performance and memory tool, you identify a single sub VI as the main performance bottleneck. The block diagram of the sub VI is shown below. The VI is currently set at the normal priority level. Which of the following technique would be most effective in decreasing the sub VI's execution time? So if you look, observe the code very carefully, it is clearly seems that only one function here is actually allocating some memory. Uh, that is the data coercion, but that is also not very significant. Otherwise, array subset and replace array subset, they don't actually allocate memory. So. The problem has to do with the priority level. As you can see, the requirement above says that the VI is currently set at the normal priority level. So performing other operations to remove or modify the code is not going to help. So in this case, the answer is going to be C, set the sub -VI's priority property to subroutine, which means it will have the highest priority while it is going to execute and when a sub VI is set to subroutine, all the other codes outside that is not going to execute. Only the subroutine will execute. I hope you like this video. I'll see you in the next CLDR question. Please subscribe to this channel and do not forget to turn on the bell icon to be notified for new LabVIEW videos.